Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We've got your March 2024 money and career reading coming out here for you guys. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Let's get right into it. Of course, Pisces, we are in your season. Happy birthday to all of you. On the 10th, we've got a super new moon in your sign. So this is a wonderful time to focus on your dreams. Uh, you turn your imagination, your vision into reality and set some intentions to manifest something in into your life, whether it's improvements, whether it's just a little bit of easy energy that you want to manifest in, or whether it's some uh, really big, big new things, right? Whatever it happens to be for you, set those intentions. Big new beginning energy here for you guys. And of course, with you guys, it is you know, we are at the very end of an astrological year. So, you know, with this energy, we get a cleanse and we get a purge. We've got a super a micro, excuse me, full moon in the sign of Libra. This is a lunar eclipse and this is on the 25th of the month. So this really highlights partnerships, relationships. So this is the companies you work for, the position that you hold, um, the people that you work with. Um, this also highlights any financial responsibilities that you share with another person. And also legal matters, right? Libra energy brings an energy of balance, fairness, and equality. And as far as legal matters go, if you've had some sort of injustice done to you, if you've got some legal matters that have been lingering, this can be where things really wrap up because we eclipse things out of our lives and we can get some solutions in there, but we can also welcome in some new things, right? So this can be really positive because the legal matters can be new documents, new um, job contracts, new investment contracts. Maybe you take out a loan to buy a house, maybe you pay off a loan, right? All of those kind of things. Think about things that you sign your name to. This is also a time when you can really restore balance and harmony in a relationship as well. So if you're not getting paid what you are supposed to get paid in your workplace, you might find that in this energy, you're more inclined to make change or to speak your truth, advocate for yourself. So you could have things that are shifting in that regard for you as well. And you may get what you actually rightfully deserve, or this will be catalyst moment to eclipse you out of your current situation. But we are in the springtime, the spring equinox. We welcome in Aries season, the start of an astro astrological new year. Spring is about planting seeds and watching them grow. So this is a time of growth, of prosperity and abundance for us that we're stepping into. So embrace and celebrate that energy. First out for you, we've got the page of coins. Well, we like that in a money and career reading, don't we? We've got the king of swords, a very important conversation here about money, about finances, perhaps an invitation, an offer coming your way. We have the strength card here as well for you. I'm going to pull all of your cards. We've got the moon card. That's your energy. We've got the Page of Cups, really dreamy, really creative energy there. The Six of Cups there as well. Some of you might get a second chance. Six of Coins, there's the writing some wrongs. There is balance and equality, getting paid what you're worth. An honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Could be some money coming your way with that Six of Coins. We've got the Knight of Coins there for you as well. And the Two of Wands. Your future is bright. The doors are opening for you. Wonderful energy. We've got the eight of coins at the back of the deck here. So the eight of coins really it's a it's a positive card. It's one of productivity, but it's also one of learning and paying attention to details and uh, working towards some improvement or some goals. So your goals are within reach with this energy. But I do also feel that there's a shifting energy here with the eight of coins. Yes, if you work hard, you put your nose to the grindstone, this will pay off for you. But I do feel here in this energy that if you are looking to better your financial situation, you have the knowledge, the skills, and the experience that someone is looking for, and you have an opportunity or the ability here to level up if that's what you want. The Eight of Coins is often one where we are learning something, but we're about to graduate. So it is one where the student is about to graduate, the student is about to become the teacher, the apprentice, 
becomes the fully skilled tradesperson that can make some more money. The employee becomes the boss or the leader, right, of things, right? So we're kind of in that energy there where we're about to transition in some way and take that next step up. So it's really great energy there. But it is one about focus and attention to detail. And this is where we quite often do see our results, right? So, you know, don't be afraid of a little hard work, which you're probably already not, but practical matters with that eight of coins there as well. But right in the heart of your reading, you know, we do have the moon coming in here. We do have the page of cups. So new moon in Pisces, the pages do bring new energy, um, new opportunities, very creative, very intuitive kind of energy, and one that is a very little bit dreamy. And so coupled up with the moon, this is really about your ability to really um, dream big and manifest that things into your reality, follow your heart, follow your goals, follow your dreams and see something come to fruition. So whether you're setting intentions or whether you've got something really shifting and happening for you now, it's because of what you have done to achieve it because you have welcomed it in, you have manifested it in and you've worked for it. And now all you need to do is get ready to receive it. So really great energy there for you guys. So really work with the moon cycles in the month of March. Um, they will really help you um, in a really big way, maybe even surprising way. The Page of Cups can bring in some really positive news something that makes your heart sing with joy. The Page of Cups is very jovial energy. And this can be something that is a little bit of a shocker um, because the Page of Cups sometimes does bring an element of surprise or something unexpected. And we also have the Six of Coins here as well, which can also bring something a little bit surprising or something a little bit unexpected. So as we do have Eclipse energy as well, expect the unexpected really in the month ahead. Um, things can be really shaking up for you and in a very positive way. I mean, really, you've got nothing but positive cards coming out here between you and Aquarius. I tell you, you've got like the two best readings out of the whole group. Um, uh, actually, Capricorn wasn't so bad either. So the last three zodiac signs, which I'm not surprised about because, you know, of course, we're in Pisces season, you've got a new moon in your sign. This is all awesome energy, right? Aquarius has Pluto um, in their sign, right? So they're feeling a lot of shifts and Capricorn is breathing a sigh of relief um, because of course Pluto is out of their sign that's been dragging them down or slowing things up. So uh, so you guys really do have, so if you have any um, planetary placements in your birth chart in Aquarius or Capricorn, you might want to go and check out those readings as well. Certainly check out both your all of your sun, moon and rising sign readings um, for your big picture anyway. But the moon can indicate cycles, right? So it feels like here that some of you are wrapping up a cycle, right? With the full moon energy, you're really wrapping up a big cycle in your life. It could be something that was started in Libra season or perhaps even Leo season, right? With that strength card coming in there. Um, something that you've been waiting for, Knight of Coins, right? I've been waiting for for quite a while. Um, and now you're kind of starting to feel some movement going on. You're starting to feel the shift and you're starting to see things happen. And this can be really, re really wonderful and rewarding for you here in this energy. Um, others of you, I do feel that patience may be a virtue for you, especially if you're setting some intentions. Okay, um, keep an open heart and open mind, pay attention to detail, one foot in front of the other and allow things to happen. Keep the doors open. Two of wands here, doors are opening for you. The path forward is clear. All right, we just need to decide what we want and decide to step through. So in this energy here, an open heart, an open mind and being willing to take action and taking forward moment, forward initiative will be your key to success, right? Remember manifestation, we're always co creating with the universe. Um, we do our part by setting intentions with clarity. Um, King of Swords, okay, clarity, a sense of purpose. The universe will align people and situations and opportunities along our path that are in alignment with our manifestations. And then it's up to us to take the next step. So it's a little bit of a tennis match there, right? The ball is in your court, right? 
So just be aware of that and be ready for a little bit of action. Um, you know, we do need to remember that this is the energy is all activating for your month ahead. For some of you, these things are playing out in the month ahead, but you're all in a different position. So for some of you, this will take a few months to really play out for you guys up to six. Um, but I feel like there's some things that are going to happen a little bit faster than that. But the moon cycle, whether you're entering a new cycle or finishing off a cycle here, there's a little bit of mystery that may come to light for you. The moon does represent illusion. So I do have to address it. Um, the moon can be things that are hidden or things that are not quite what they seem. They're an illusion. With the page of cups, we can be fantasizing about something. And so just be a little bit aware of making sure that what you're seeing is real, okay, um, only because with this energy, with this kind of dreamy fantasy energy, um, and there's also a couple of dates in March where scammers might be about. Just be a little bit aware of that. Um, if you're not sure about something, right? Number one, trust your intuition. Um, very much so. Your intuition is really going to be giving you a little bit of a, a knock upside the head, I feel here. But if you're not sure about something or if it seems too good to be true, Okay, seek out advice, the king of swords, seek out like some legal advice or bounce some information off of, you know, a really wise friend um, or coworker or something like that, because there can be an element here of, you know, wanting something so bad to be true that we ignore some of the red flags. So just be a little bit, a little bit aware of that. Um, just don't part, don't part ways with your money. Um, for something that promises something that's kind of unbelievably out of this world, if you know what I'm saying, okay? Um, just be a little bit careful in that. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you do your homework. And usually um, get rich quick things don't usually go our way. And most banks, financial institutions, things like that will not contact you via text message or things like that. So just be aware. But we do have the page of coins. So the page of coins can represent an offer, an opportunity, some money coming in. It can also represent um, uh, it can represent you purchasing something new. And with the page of cups here right in the middle, it could be something that you want rather than something that you need. It could be something that you've been dreaming about, something that um, gives you some pleasure and some joy. For some of you, it could be technology. Maybe it's um, something for your home, or maybe it's just going out and having some fun, and you're just spending a little bit of money that way, right? So something that just kind of lightens, lightens and brightens your day, you could be doing that. For some of you, you may have um, some money dealings with your children. You could have some surprises there with the moon. Um, this can be like a surprise field trip, that kind of thing. Um, a surprise, uh, you know, school supplies, things like that. So we do have children that are showing up in your reading. So um, just be oh, just be aware of that, right? You know, uh, sometimes kids carry around. Um, you know, notes home from school in their backpack for like three weeks. And then all of a sudden the day before, oh, yeah, by the way, can you sign my field trip? I think it's a little bit easier these days because a lot of schools do use emails and things like that, but not all of them, right? So um, you could have a little bit of surprise expenditure there with one of your children. But with the King of Swords here, King of Swords is can be your energy, right? You've got clarity, a sense of purpose. You're being honest and truthful with yourself. Um, you know what you want, and there's no doubt here in your mind that you will get what you want, right? So um, very successful energy here. But you're also taking the lead, taking charge. Um, if you're going for a new job, page of um, page of cups, king of swords, right? Um, you are in a position of strength with the strength card there, right? You are forced to be reckoned with. Okay, you might need a little bit of courage. Okay, to go into a job interview, right? But it feels like here with the page of cups that it goes quite well and the knight of coins could be where it culminates in an offer of some kind. And this can bring you in more money than what you were making before, especially with the six of coins showing up here, right? Honest days work for an honest day's pay, being paid what you are worth, maybe even with the knight of coins a little bit more right? Um, that's always good because a lot of companies, uh, a lot of companies, not all of them by any stretch of the imagination, but 
Um, a lot of companies will pay new people more money than they pay their existing people, right? Because, oh, we got to pay more, we got to pay more money to get people in the door. Well, how about paying more money to keep people you have? Right. So it's um, a little bit of disparity sometimes between uh, corporations, between companies and workers. Right. So sometimes, not always, but sometimes the way to get what you're worth is by moving to something new, unfortunately. However, with the King of Swords here, it may um, for some of you, if you are so inclined and if you think that there is a possibility you might be able to right some wrongs in your current situation where you are right now. Stand up for yourself, advocate for yourself, articulate yourself clearly with that king of swords, and you just never know what may happen, right? It's a mystery with the moon, but we've got some really positive energies coming in here. So if, you, you know, new people coming in are making more money than you, you've got experience, you've got the skills, maybe you're even training these people, right? Well, if you're good enough to train them, that means you're good enough to lead them, or that means you've got more skills and experience than they do. And that's worth something, right? So you could be really recognizing your own value, your own worth. And if you don't get what um, you're worth now, then this could be a catalyst moment, right? Remember, we're eclipsing some things out of our life for some of us. And this can be a catalyst that gets you out of the door to look for something new. And the energy is very supportive of new things. Whatever your situation is, a little bit of discernment is the key. With the strength card here, we know when to come out roaring like a lion, when to be confident and bold and brave, but we also know when to take a step back and take a calm, cool, collective, patient kind approach at things, right? This will really help you, okay, um, in your month ahead, right? So know when to know when to charge forward and know when to take that step back, right? So it can be really great. But the strength card reminds us you reminds you here of your inner strength. Strength, your ability to make change, your ability to move forward, your ability to manifest things in. You've got a lot of power, a lot of power within, and you are being reminded of that. The strength card is also card number eight. Eight represents flexibility and adaptability. That can be your order of the day for you as well. Also, eights represent um, abundance, right? You've got an eight of coins, a very abundant energy. You've got the strength card there, a very abundant energy. You've got the page and the knight of coins, right? So a lot of um, money, career, finances, all on the up and up here for you. And especially with the six of coins, the what you've put out there, you're about to get rewarded in some way or recognized in some way. And this is really positive um, energy for you. But I do have to say there is a little bit of a mystery and some of you could have a second chance at something. We do have the uh, Six of Cups. So this can be something returning to you with the Six of Coins, something returning to you as well. So you could have some money coming back to you. Um, you could get like a refund or something here. You could even um, find something that you really want, something you have your heart set on. You could find it on sale, right? Sometimes the Six of Coins is not necessarily a windfall, but it's like a financial relief. Leaf. And sometimes this comes in like I've had this come in like on a daily um, where, you know, it's like, you know, a day or two before payday. And, you know, maybe I've had some unexpected bills or things are just expensive these days. And I find like $20 in my a jacket pocket or my jeans pocket when I'm doing laundry or something. It's woohoo, right? 20 bucks is 20 bucks. So you could find something. You could also find something on sale, right? So something doesn't cost as much as what you thought that it was going to cost you. And this is like, yeah, yes, I can afford this. And so you might pounce on that opportunity. So you could have uh, a second chance or something that returns to you in some way with this. You could have a second chance at a job. Um, you could run into an old friend, um, an old business colleague, right? You just never know how that may work out for you. Um, they could be like, hey, you know what? It's just so weird. I run into you. I've been thinking about you. And uh, this can be an important conversation. King of Swords about a new job, a new position. Maybe their company they work for or they own is expanding or maybe they have someone leaving and they're like, I'm so glad I ran into you today. This is really, this is really weird. This is very serendipitous. And um, you could have some opportunities that comes about from that. But I do feel here you're making some important decisions in your month ahead. And um, these do directly impact your money. 
Um, and it looks like for the positive um, here for you. But I do also feel an element of fun. So I feel here in this energy that even though there's things you want, there's things that you want to improve, maybe things you want to change, you've got your heart set on some things. I also feel that you are maybe kind of recognizing the need to kind of have some more balance in your life, right? Six of coins can bring you balance. The two of wands, right, can bring decisions and doors opening. Yes, making plans, but it can also be one of balance as well. And, you know, so I feel here that maybe you're not just taking a lighthearted approach at certain things, but maybe you're also finding ways to have more fun and enjoyment in life. You could also be looking to have more enjoyment in your work. Right. Um, what's the point of spending eight hours, 10 hours a day at your job if you hate it? Right. And if it's not fulfilling or rewarding in some way or you don't like the people. Right. So this can be um, you know, this can be a catalyst for change for some of you. But I think there's some wonderful energies that are um, really coming in here for you. So jump for joy. Keep an open heart. Keep an open mind and expect the unexpected. So let's get a couple of manifestation cards here. Be grateful for your challenges. It's all of the hard things that apparently, oh, so let me start that again. It's all of the hard things and apparently negative things that happen to us, which give us a deep desire to change our lives. Be grateful for them because they have given you the strength and determination to manifest something different and you will change your life. There's that strength card coming out there front and center. All right. We also have here gratitude is riches. The daily practice of gratitude is one of the conduits by which your wealth will come to you. And this is true. Whatever we have, whatever we've experienced, whatever we've gone through, whatever we're at now, when we spend a few minutes a day in gratitude, the energy of gratitude, giving thanks for things, we get more things to be thankful and grateful for. It's very important. It also triggers something scientifically. It's been produced that um, spending five minutes a day in gratitude, uh, uh, I forget the chemical that's released. I believe it's serotonin. Um, it's the pleasure center of our brain. So it really does change our energy and can change our perspective as well, just spending those few minutes in gratitude, right? So uh, really important energy there for you guys. I'm going to leave all that there for you. I hope there was something here for you. And if you enjoyed your reading, please do hit that like button there. It helps YouTube to share it with more people. Um, if you enjoy my content, uh, hit the subscribe button. The notification bell, if you hit that, will in theory tell you whenever I put up a new reading. And don't be afraid to leave a comment in the box below. Say hello. Uh, where are you watching from? What are you changing? What are you manifesting in your life? Because it looks like you're on the cusp of some very exciting things in your future. So thank you very much, guys. Have a great month and I'll see you later. Bye.